Welcome to your Sinistry Report. This is the Peace Dealer. I love doing Sinistry Reports. They're so fun. Um, is There's no telltale proof or reminder of how connected people are uh, than in Sinistry readings. I just love to see the combinations here. So thank you for ordering this. I really do look forward to your feedback. Uh, please don't hesitate to share that. And right off the bat, I do love this combination of energy. I see we're dealing with a literal gangster here. Okay, your Sinistry partner has Sun on Saturn. And I don't normally just jump into these constructs, but we're going to jump into these constructs. So I'm going to share you. I think I might have shared with you the alien construct for Moon on Saturn. If not, please look Saturn Vessel Alien. I'm going to share Pluto Power. And I'm also going to share Saturn power for your partner, uh, just in case that might be relevant to him down the line. Uh, he's a gangster. That's the first thing you have to know. He's a social gangster. So this is someone who is quite no nonsense when it comes to the direct expression of how altruistically and balanced he takes action towards other people, especially concerning uh, all this being in Libra, he is an artist. He's a gangster artist. <laughs> no, but for real, I always like to equate the Saturn archetype to gangsterism or just gangsterness in general. Um, I made up the word gangsterism, but it's amazing to also see your rising is zero degrees Libra. Very, very revealing because we see that, and this is a very good look to have, um, as the man, his spirit reflects your personality it's actually very key that uh his juno is next to your rising too he has juno and jupiter husband and wife together so in a in a slight way you are the instrument of what he considers the good wife okay when when a man's juno is on a woman's rising to that man that woman embodies the characteristics of the woman he wants to make his wife, whether he's not, con whether he's conscious of this or not, because it doesn't always have to be conscious of this. Um, even though it's behind the AC, it's very revealing. So we see right off the bat, this is a relationship between Cancer Sun and Libra Sun. And you have your moon one degree Scorpio. He has his moon at the end of Aries, which is close enough to be in opposition. Okay. Regardless, um, him being born after the full moon makes him the original artist and you're the pure high priestess or the pure expression of holiness and sincerity as an artist personality. He has an ascended personality as an ascended being. And because your Neptune is on his rising with the nodes, you he is an instrument of your intuition and clairvoyance, especially being born in 83. Jupiter, Uranus, South Node, Neptune, he embodies the most supernaturally visual part of you, which as a Cancer Sun will also have him integrate elements of your own behavior in an effort to break through said influence accordingly and align to the point that with his Neptune, your psychic abilities and visions will be that much stronger and magical around him. This, of course, puts you in his eighth house and being coming out of his seventh, coming into his eighth house evokes this sense of primal sexual urge and desire in the eighth where you're going to challenge his boundaries and how you can disarm his walls so that you stimulate a deeper desire of intimacy with him. Whereas he falls in your first house and the very expression of how seriously he with Saturn expresses his spirit and extremely with Pluto and Mercury aligns with his brain reflects your personality. So the expression of who he is reflects who your personality. OK, and it's cool because his MC is in Libra. So with his MC aligning with your AC, you embody the element of what he looks up to and his goals, which once again 
gives this mirroring effect. You're going to see a lot of each other in each other because his Mercury and Pluto are on your Saturn and Pluto. This is a karmically binding aspect that may have even brought both of you together in that he's going to be seriously aligned to how productively and exalted with the Saturnian social karma you actively express this very intimidating and extreme quality of your personality. All of this is going to be in his 11th house as a Libra with his MC in his 11th, making him quite famous. Like Libras with this are very well known socially. I, I know I know a very famous DJ who has this uh, shout out to her. And I love that imagery because she is literally rocking out a crowd as an artist. And that's 11th house Libra as the Sag rising creator. You know, she is creating this space with which everyone can enjoy art together. And so him having Pluto and Saturn will go into the extreme seriousness of how he transforms these social themes and maladies to help express more balance both of you with which probably have an extreme desire for justice and hatred of injustice okay so whereas he's going to be aware of all these facets in his social circle of friends and how he builds and is responsible for this community he creates you're going to embody the personality of that being that represents this social persona okay and this is where now with your son that lightly squares, your son lightly sextiles his son, but because energetically Libra squares cancer, what Libra does is, is it provides the social foundation and balance for cancer to feel comfortable at home with themselves. He's going to, of course, protect the social channels with which, of course, as a social spirit, even though he has an individual soul and a collective God level personality, he has a social spirit. You have a social personality, an individual spirit, and a social soul, okay? So as a artist spirit and gangster, he's going to challenge your comfort zone and help create in his social circle of collectives the space with which you'll not only feel at home expressing yourself, but identify yourself as as well. Whereas a cancer, you're going to open up the channels for him to express himself sincerely and inspire him to really express more his feelings around his success. But it's less emotional and more about how actively he shares these more sincere and vulnerable facets with himself individually with the world around him. So normally you could also give him opportunities for career expansion, especially seeing that your Mars T squares his moon and Libra energy. And so that's going to be the balance, ironically, with which what you feel you focus on his Libra side or his airy side. This is also very key because whereas his Juno is next to your rising your Juno is on his moon. So he's a vessel of your Juno. He's a vessel of the commitment with which inspires you to also, you know, express these qualities of once again, the good wife, which is very key and very revealing. It definitely goes a long way towards showing more than ever this nature of how both of you are connected. And not only how both of you are connected, but also how you tap into this more raw sense of himself. Because once again, relative to the raw nature of his soul, it's what enables him as an ascended being to feel into the originality of creativity he needs so that he can express fully this artistic power and social power. And so what's key here is that your north node of destiny falls in his seventh house. This is why I love reading Sinistry. We've now effectively proved that you were meant to be with him. 
you are meant to establish the truth of this connection with him. And the North Node in Gemini actually aligned destiny. I don't know if you met during the 2020, 2021 year to unlock this. Okay. Meanwhile, his North Node is in your 11th house with Venus. So he's destined to really help influence your social circle and how much courage you manifest value through said social circle. Whereas once again, your North node falls in his seventh house, aligning the partnership to even be in the first place. And especially with Chiron here, you're going to heal the vulnerabilities that come with him expressing himself honestly with you. His Mars does fall in Scorpio. And so you will feel that lightly with your moon in Scorpio moon Mars, especially with the man's Mars and the woman's moon uh, is very deeply felt especially in Scorpio. So you're going to be receptive to his deep, unconventional sexual desire towards you. Um, and especially with your Mars that trines us in cancer or emotionally express uh, very deeply. Your Venus now that is in Virgo will mesh well with his Mars in Scorpio and his Venus in Leo is going to mix well with your Mars in Cancer albeit it's not the most compatible, it will work together should the timing be appropriate so that the passion of his heart can manifest the sincerity of your actions defining cancer. You just want to be careful about uh, how he'll uplift you out your comfort zone with his passion. That being said, when we look at the composite chart, we know that both of you have met in Leo. This is beautiful. 28 degree Leo sun, 27 degree Venus in Leo uh, on the MC marking that this connection is one of inspirational beauty. And so people are meant to really see and be inspired by the courage that it takes for both of you to come together as Libra and Cancer seemingly meet here. Well, the, the, the beginning of Libra, which is end of Virgo and the end of Cancer meet at the end of Leo. OK, so that both of you can share this golden connection together. And I mean, it's a good look to see Venus here. This is a connection that both of you uh, open your hearts with and in MC share socially. We see that the rising is Scorpio. So the eclipse, ch see, this is why I love doing sinistry. What are the odds? Y'all are having an eclipse in your seventh house of partnerships. So this is why you're even getting this reading. Okay. It's Leo season where both of your son is. So you're coming into awareness of this part. And I can't make this up. This is amazing. This is amazing. So literally you sowed the seeds in May to manifest this partnership. And then Scorpio season is going to unlock the transformation and the uniqueness of this partnership to over the next six months back into 2023, complete the finality of this manifestation before the nodes start to integrate this into both of your lifestyles. Both of you have the moon in cap and Pluto has been awakening the soul of this partnership. Okay. As it'll get ready to go direct soon. And this is very powerful because the integration of these themes, the moon's about to be in Cap and the sun's in Leo right now too, help you understand the past life karmic lessons that you came into this lifetime with Juno, so beautiful, square Jupiter here to establish this balance of sincerity and how much deepening emotions and quality you form this philosophy that you sh share together. Isis will help spearhead this. Now, all this Libra power in the 12th speaks to the grounded, but also intense releasing of unconscious beliefs that he'll be aware of with his Libra son. And you'll be an instrument of uh, to really form in hidden natures to both of you uh, the, the nature of how you socially interface this connection. Uh, this will square the cap moon and help you feel what direction organize things. But with Mars and Mercury, there's a very analytical level with which this grand earth trines to bring everything together. And you both manifest this sense of clairvoyant vision that strengthens with your shared awareness to activate this more so. So that's really what to keep in mind from Leo. The Scorpio season is the checkpoint that's going to finish this eclipse that's harvesting your partnership and relationship and connection together. So I hope you enjoyed this report. 
I'm very honored to have shared this and for for us to know that, you know, you were destined to be in his life in some capacity, even if at least just to heal how honestly he expresses himself towards other people. You stay blessed as always. Peace.